Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today I just wanted to do a quick little update. I guess, I hope it's going to be quick. Uh, some of you have been asking for specific updates on certain plants. Uh, one of them is uh, Herella retrocala. The other is a Sideria japonica. I'm going to butcher these. It's early morning here, so uh, my brain isn't working with my mouth. And even if it was, sometimes these scientific names are ridiculous. <laughs> Not ridiculous, don't get mad. <laughs> Just they're hard to say. So, um, as well as my Vanda seedling that I have hanging here from my telephone cord from my basement. Oh my god, it's going to fall down, I know it. I know it. Uh, <laughs> please tell me it's just not... Anyway. And another one is uh, just Vandas in general, but specifically you guys wanted to know about the seedlings. So we'll talk about that one. And uh, yeah, uh, first off, let's start with a, uh, a moment of weakness. I went over to the garden center. Uh, this, this video will probably be uploaded on Saturday. So it was last week that I, I went to the garden center and saw this. Actually, if this is uploaded on Saturday, I will probably be at a garden, or not a garden show, an orchid show, the S-O-O-S. -O so, um, be ready for an update video on some photos of, of that show. And also a haul video, because I will be uh, buying a few things. So, this uh, Phalaenopsis, it's a, from what I can see, it's potentially a mini fowl, but sometimes they're just young fowls. Hope this is going to come into focus. I bought this one because it reminded me of a Vanda flower. Uh, the Vandas have the um, the wider petals, and I really, really, really liked it. The color was pretty too, so I thought, heck, why not? It's eleven dollars, and I also got a ten dollar off coupon, so it was one dollar. <laughs> Can't go wrong for one dollar. So that is my uh, indulgence for that weekend. Uh, which is not good, but uh, eh, what are you going to do? I am addicted. So, okay, let's first go with the Sideria japonica. I have this Sideria japonica. I bought this, when did I buy this? I bought this last orchid show season, so it's about a year old in my care right now. So it's done really, really well. It's put out two new leaves, I believe, in that amount of time. It was dealing with flower spikes when I got it. Uh, it hasn't put on any new flower spikes. I keep watching. I don't see anything just yet. I let it dry out completely before watering again. I don't know whether it's going to pick it up, but can you hear that? It's crunchy. So I have, um, I, I water it really, really well when I water it. I, I stick it under the tap and make sure that the uh, moss gets uh, moistened, saturated really. And uh, one thing you need to worry about with Sideria japonica, like a Phalaenopsis, is crown rot. Uh, it's uh, very prevalent in these. And you'll notice when they're professionally mounted, they're either mounted or they are in moss that is raised up above the uh, the pot. As you can see, it's well above the pot there. This this uh, causes the, uh, the moisture to travel down the pot a little bit further and up around the crown of the plant, it's going to be more on the dry side. Down in the bottom portion here, it's going to be more moist. This one is going to stay mostly dry because see how there's the packing peanuts? That's what that white is in there. Um, these packing peanuts will draw the moisture out of the, uh, the media, uh, in this case it's moss, and uh, cause the plant to stay on the drier side a little bit longer. So that's a benefit if you're going to be uh, planting a Sideria japonica in a pot. I believe that Danny over at Orchid Nature has, uh, has done a tutorial video on, uh, on repotting one of these guys. I actually have, let me just uh, go out of frame here for a second. I'm not out of frame. I bought some of uh, Last Orchid Shows. I bought some Neo Phoenicia Falcata pots. These are just plastic pots. That I believe they cost me five dollars each. I'm gonna put it in this. I think that it's a really really cute pot and I think that it'll go well. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I water these really really well uh, I give it uh, uh, good light, bright indirect light, and uh, I let it dry out completely before I water it again. And I water it really, really well when I water it. So I usually water this once a week. Maybe twice a week, depending on how the dryness is. Ooh, I just dropped it. After this video, I'm going to water it well. 
Uh, next one is the Herella Retrocala. I hope I'm saying it right. This one here is a mini orchid. Very, very small. I don't think it's coming into focus. It looks blurry to me on the viewfinder. Uh, this one here has flowered for me. And uh, it was beautiful. The flower is really, really small. If I can find a flower photo, I'll post it up in the corner. Really, really cool. So small that I found that it was difficult to take a photo of because it would never really focus in because I'd try to get really, really close up to it. And uh, it just was kind of lost. I'm not a, a professional photographer. I should take some lessons. Um, so with this one here, I try to keep this one on the moist side all the time. It's planted in moss. I'm going to have to repot it very, very soon. Do I have the little pot that I want to pot it in? No. Anyway, uh, like Brad showed us how to do, I made some of these, uh, these um, mesh mounts. And I have one that's smaller for this one. I don't see it behind me. Anyway, it is around. So it's it's smaller, but it's uh, I'm going to try to pot this on it. it. These like to be mounted. This also had a problem with, um, with spy, not spider mites, with uh, mealybugs. And uh, underneath, it was like colonies of mealybugs. And that's what caused the flower to, uh, to end prematurely. But it had two or three spikes of flowers. It was really impressive. It was so cute. Uh, like, as you can see against my finger, this is really, really small. And the flowers were about a centimeter, maybe a centimeter and a half uh, big, long. So for the size of the plant, the flowers were quite impressive. So anyway, again, I'm keeping this on the moist side. So I, I uh, water it when the media just kind of approaches dryness. Uh, sometimes it's allowed to dry out completely, but usually it is always moist, damp. So yeah, that's my Herella Retrocala. Still learning with it. Uh, once all the mealies were, have been gone, uh, it started to produce more growths. So hopefully we're on an upward trend with it again. Uh, it was doing really, really well. Uh, so anyway, that is the Herella Retrocala. If you guys are growing it, let me know how it's growing for you. I'd love to see your photos as well. Uh, does it stay... Uh, growing in one direction or does it branch out and have like a little cluster eventually I'd really like to know show me some photos either on Instagram or and and uh, hashtag me in it plants and things uh, as well as on Facebook I'd love to see it either on the Facebook what's plants and things what's growing or just a regular Facebook plants and things page uh, because it's a really cool plant I want to get more into minis uh, another one Let's look at this one here. This is the one that we grew from a... Well, no, we didn't grow it from a seed. It was a seedling that I got about uh, five or six, maybe even seven years ago now. Uh, and it was neglected. I'll try to find a uh, the video when I first started making videos of the seedling Vanda. It was really little. It was so small. And, uh, yeah, I'll try to post it in a card up, up above so that if you're on a mobile device, you could still click on it. So... This one here, I am hoping that it will produce flowers this year. As you can see, it's starting to get bigger. It's got roots everywhere. I water this. I try to water it every day or every second day. I have a bucket of water for my Vanda orchids uh, on the ground, and it's got a, a, a small amount of fertilizer in it. So every time I dunk it in, I dunk it in for an hour, maybe two hours each day to really hydrate, and then it sits here and there's fans and stuff going. So it, it dries out really, really quickly, uh, as Vandas do. Uh, this one I have growing in a pot, whereas this one back here, the roots are just hanging out. Uh, some of the roots don't look so good, but they were there when I bought it. Uh, there's some roots that look really, really nice, and then up at the top, the new roots, they are looking super. So I'll show you that in a second. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll try to show you a, a video of this one. This one has, uh, has really gone extraordinary. It's a, it's a good size. I'm noticing that the, uh, the trunk is starting to get fatter up here. Uh, roots developing everywhere. Uh, fingers crossed that when it goes outside this summertime that it starts to produce flowers. So that is that one. Really, really fun. Love it. Uh, it's really starting to get me into the uh, Vanda mood. Another one that I love a lot, but it's uh, getting neglected. See how it's not in a pot? Uh, the poor thing. It did really, really well outside. It loved it. The roots were growing like a mile a minute. And uh, now that it's inside, it's not as happy. But uh, 
When it goes back outside, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm going to be planting this into a, um, a basket, uh, the wooden baskets, the slat baskets. <laughs> so uh, hopefully it, it will like that. I'm going to take all of this old moss away. I'll probably do that on a, on a board Saturday or Sunday. Just remove everything from here and, and uh, then we'll put it in the basket and maybe put some hydrogen beads or something around just to keep some moisture around the base of the plant and see how that goes. I don't even know. Maybe I won't use the wood basket because then it makes it harder to soak in water. So anyway, this one is, I don't think I told you, this is a Rinko Stylus, Rinko Stylus Giganti. Rinko Stylus, Rinko. I think it's Rinko Stylus. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it is a beautiful plant, uh, very much resembles a Vanda, uh, one of the telltale signs of a Rinko Stylus. I believe it's Rinko Stylus. It's early morning. I can't remember all my plant names. Is there's a line, like a streaking pattern of lighter green on the leaves. It's really a cool pattern. And at first I thought it was something wrong, but nope, that's the way it's supposed to look. And the leaves are a little bit shorter. It looks like they've been cut off, as you can see. Uh, at the tips of each leaf, it uh, kind of does a little weird... I've gone brown, so Bill has chopped the, the leaves off. That is not the case. That's just the way they grow. So I'm waiting for this to bloom. It was not bloom when I got it. It was actually just finishing blooming. So time will tell. Uh, it's obviously not very happy because look at the, uh, the roots, how they're a little bit emaciated, a little, a little dehydrated. But uh, I do soak this when I soak the other Vandas. So it does get moisture. Maybe it just needs more moisture. Uh, so anyway, stay tuned for more updates on this one. You'll see more of these outside as they're hanging up on the fence. And let's go to the last Vanda. Last but not least, what is this one called? Oh, this this uh, one that was a seedling is Sansei Blue, supposedly. Watch, it'll be purple. And not blue. I love the Sansei Blue. This one is Vanda Robert's Delight Black. So this one is a really, really pretty one. Uh, if I can find a photo of it, I'll put it up in the top corner. Um, but as you can see, there's there's beautiful roots that are coming out the sides. These are relatively new. I've had this plant for... I uh, bought it last fall. And uh, it's doing okay. Uh, I was told that this one is blooming size. So hopefully in the summertime we will see some blooms. This one I also water at the same time as I water this one. Uh, this one should be watered uh, once a day. Only because it has the, uh, the roots that are very exposed. This one can be watered a little less frequently because it's in a pot and uh, it holds on to a little bit of moisture. Uh, but this one really should be watered more often. I might even try a semi-water culture kind of method with it uh, for the winter time. And then when I bring it outside, it's easier to water with the hose. Uh, I really go at it with, uh, with the hose on the mist. And I just go back and I missed it and missed it and missed it and missed it like several times a day. And it loves it. So anyway, this has been an update on uh, plants that you guys have been asking for. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyway, if you uh, have any questions on any of the plants that you've seen, uh, leave a, a message down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to, uh, to answer them. Uh, I'm growing these for fun, so I might not have uh, technical answers for you, but I'll do my best. Um, so anyway, yeah. Um, again, show me what you're growing. Uh, uh, show them to me on, uh, on Instagram. I love Instagram. And, uh, and the Plants and Things What's Growing page. Fun group. If you haven't joined already, the links are all in the, the, the section below. And until next time, happy growing! Are you able to see that against my hand? There's... The, the buds are really starting to develop. They're red and they're really developing. So there's going to be a lot of growth on these roses coming, coming very soon. And then here we have...